In today's fast-paced and productive work environment, powered industrial trucks such as forklifts and other vehicles have become an essential part in almost all industries. Along with this increased need to handle materials efficiently and safely, there has been a wide range of equipment and attachments such as side loaders and clamps developed for specific industries and applications. As this technology advances, it becomes critical that this equipment is operated properly and safely by trained and skilled professional operators. One of the most important parts of any forklift or PIT training program is the engineering principles of the equipment. This knowledge is necessary to understand the following training and to improve your ability to make good judgments when lifting odd-sized or difficult loads. These principles are basic but very important, so if you have any questions, ask your trainer or supervisor. Automobiles and PITs Driving a powered industrial truck is very different from driving an automobile. An automobile steers in the direction its front wheels are pointing, while PITs have rear wheel steering. A car's front wheels turn in the direction you wish to turn, while a forklift's wheels turn the opposite way you turn the wheel. For this reason, you need training and hands-on practice to get used to operating a forklift. It requires different techniques. Unlike automobiles, PITs do not have shock absorbers. An automobile has what is called a four-point suspension, which uses shock absorbers on each wheel to help keep the tire firmly on the road. Forklifts have a three-point suspension system, whether the truck has three or four wheels. Since they do not have shock absorbers, a pivot pin in the center of the rear axle supports the rear end. This allows for up and down movement of the rear tires when traveling over bumps or uneven surfaces. This pivot point and the front tires make up the suspension system. As you can see in this graphic, this three-point suspension forms what is called the stability triangle. When the vehicle's load center falls within the stability triangle, the vehicle is stable and will not tip over. However, when the vehicle's load combination falls outside the stability triangle, the vehicle is unstable and may tip over. For example, fast, sharp turns can cause this center of gravity to shift outside the triangle. Each vehicle has a data plate located on a prominent panel on the vehicle. This is information provided by the manufacturer. The data plate gives you the make, model, and serial number of the equipment. It also states exactly how much weight can be safely lifted and how high the load may be lifted. This is sometimes referred to as the capacity. The lifting capacity is generally given in three different classifications, such as 24-inch, 36-inch, and 48-inch load centers depending on the size of your equipment. The plate specifies how high the load can be lifted at specific load centers and weights. Another engineering principle that affects your safe lifting capacity is the center of gravity. What do we mean by center of gravity? All we are saying is that the center of gravity is the point on your PIT where all of the vehicle's weight is concentrated. If the PIT is unloaded, then you have one center of gravity. If the forklift is loaded, the center of gravity changes. If the load is raised, the center of gravity shifts away from the truck and toward the forks. This graphic demonstrates this principle. If an equipment operator exceeds the safe lifting capacity and tries to lift an excessive load, the center of gravity can be exceeded and the truck will tip over towards the load. That is why tilting a load when it's raised can be a safety hazard. Tilting a load changes the center of gravity. Loads should only be tilted slightly when positioning them on racks or other material handling equipment, such as skateboard roller lines. Let's begin with the most common type of violation, speeding. 
Forklifts are designed for operation at the speed of a person walking at a normal pace. Approximately 5 miles per hour should be the fastest speed traveled. Of course, this may be too fast if you're going around a turn or driving near pedestrians. It's okay to work hard and not waste time, but when you are operating a forklift, it is required for you to watch your speed. Driving a PIT is an important responsibility. If the product doesn't get moved properly, safely, and efficiently, the whole company suffers. Take this training and your job seriously. Many people are dependent on your professional and safe attitude. Thank you for your attention and drive safely.